Welcome, fine people of YouTube. This is another weekly installment of Tube Tuesday, which is Moon Pies, that's me, my weekly lesson on how to help you get more views, get more subscribers, and eventually make more money if that's your final goal on YouTube. Now, this week, I'm going to actually hop back into the DeLorean and go back a month and go over the entire month of May. Now, at the beginning of the month, I promised that I would have a video every month, every day of the month, promise I should have made because even though I had my Tube Tuesday videos and I was pretty proud of the Where Am I contest series that I did for five weeks on Wednesday, um, everything else was just not up to snuff. I, I, since I didn't have the time to create these videos as I thought I would, or things got a little complicated outside of this YouTube box in the <coughs> real world, um, I found up I was digging through old videos that I had before said I don't need to upload this, I don't want to, and I, and I just basically sacrificed the quality of the Moon Pies channel by putting them up. Uh, and, and just a lot of stuff that I just dug into and created content, um, basically forced it, which isn't what any YouTube person should do. You should actually put up videos only that you think really deserve to be up there. Um, I found myself living up more to the promise of having a new video every day than not having it. But I did it all to prove a point, uh, to get a lesson, really, to learn something from the experience, and I did. And I have three important lessons. Um, no, let, let's make that four important lessons from this. Okay, the first one. Uh, I was going to discuss is basically what happened to my video views. Having a video every day helps. Obviously, it, it, it's, it's a way to remind people you're there. And if you're just looking for a sheer number of video views on your whole channel, it's obviously having a video is better than not having a video. A bad video is better than no video in terms of raw views. And that's not what you're looking for. But if you're looking for that number, um, the more content, the better. In April, I had a down month. Uh, I had 70,877 uh, video views across all my channels, and across all my, my one channel, across all my videos. And that's pretty good if you have one, two, three, four, five videos. Um, but I have, back then, I had about maybe 140 videos up at the time. So it's not that good. Uh, fast forward to May 110,106 views. Awesome. 55% spike in views. So, lesson number one. More videos should translate into more views. Done. Second lesson is that is about money. It, as a YouTube partner, would I make more money as a YouTube partner if I uploaded more stuff than if I did not? And the lesson there, even though it may seem obvious that by, with more videos you earn more money, it's not as easy as it seems. And I can't tell you the amount of money I'm making on YouTube Partners Program. It's not because I don't want to. It's because YouTube asks us not to. Uh, they last to speak in general terms. So I'm going to speak to you in percentage terms. In May um, versus April, um, I earned my videos on YouTube through the partnership program earned 27% more in May than they did in April. And right away you think something's not right because earnings were up 27% while the videos you used were up 55%. And right away you begin seeing the problem, the fallacy of just uploading sheer content for the sake of content. Quantity does not equal quality. The videos I, most of the videos I uploaded were just up videos that do not lend themselves to a marketable product. Advertisers on YouTube, they're not. I'm not selling anything in particular that someone an advertiser would be lukewarm to. There's really there was really no translation. No, most of these videos were random that I uploaded, and I think that I paid the price that way. Um, the, the second most important point of the second lesson is that I looked at the stats a little closer. And I noticed there was one video, which is actually my second most popular video on, on YouTube since I uploaded it three years ago, uh, which I took my son out to, bowl, to go bowling. Um, and we have three ways to go bowling. And it includes uh, a very cool pin setter trick where actually a pin starts falling and the automatic pin setter in the alley picks it up and puts it somewhere else, uh, which I know is it's, I'd never seen before. And, and as a fluke, I caught it on camera. And also, it's, it's there's one game, one of the electronic bowling games that I cover in that video no longer exists, so a lot of nostalgic people will come back and see, oh, this is the game in action. And also, it's, it's you know, I'll, I'll say this, I'm a terrible bowler, um, and my son, my then eight-year-old son, is just as bad as I was. So, um, you know, there's obviously a humor aspect to it, uh, you know, uh, of, of my uh, sometimes aloof son just bowling away. And... These things, so the video is not very well liked uh, because of all these traits and all these things, but it does get a lot of views. But it's, it's, this is the thing. In May, and I'm sorry, in April, it only received 2,126 views, that one particular video. In the month of May, it was 34,405 views. 
So I take that, if I take those views out, if I assume that whatever anomaly that led to that spike in, in, in May, and, and the video is streaky, sometimes it'll have like a hot month and then a cold month, I take that out, the video views only went up 10% to 75701 and the money I made only grew up by just 1%. So on an adjusted basis, having more video views, that didn't necessarily win me more money. So I think that's... Uh, you know, earn me more money. I don't want to say win. It's not a contest. You have to earn this. Um, and my third lesson has to do with subscribers. And if I'm going to be the golden corral of content, and I'm just going to put quantity on the buffet spread and, and not give you the good quality stuff you want, I knew I was going to pay the price for this. I knew I was going to pay the price on subscribers. Let me get down to the nitty gritty. In April, throughout the month of April, I gained 263 subscribers. 263 new subscribers signed up. In the month of May, 311 new subscribers signed up. Maybe that was one of you. Maybe you're one of these 600 or so, almost 600 or so people. If so, thank you. The problem is that we need to deal with net subscribers. And that is, for everybody that comes in, how many come out? And in April, I lost 60 subscribers. So 263 minus 60, I get to 203 net subscribers. A decent number, uh, I, um, you know. It'd been low relative to what I was back in December when I had a very popular video on YouTube, but still, re obviously, I'm happy with any any video game subscriber gains, and so 203 is a decent number. Flash forward to May, even though I had 311, I lost 100 of you, so the net subscriber gain there was 211. So from 203 to 211 doesn't sound so hot, you know, when you look at the net number. And I think what happened is the reason I lost 100 subscribers, 100 of my 55,700 or so subscribers, is that a lot of people, they got these daily videos and just, you know, it would just whenever they go to the YouTube homepage, they see this video and it's like just my nonsense, my non-YouTube Tube Tuesday videos. Um, and I think that I paid the price by not having a direct theme to the channel. And I'm still going to continue to put things that I think are valuable, even if they're not related to making money on YouTube on this channel, because it's my only partner channel especially if it's something that I think will be popular and, 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 and relevant to, to what the YouTube community. But I don't want to do the random stuff where I'm just putting you know junk just for junk sake, just to say I have one video every day. That was my big mistake. My fourth and final lesson uh, that I learned is that of my top 10 videos on the, uh, uh, that were viewed during the month of May, you're probably not going to guess how many of them were ones that I actually uploaded during the month of May. And the answer is just one. Just one of my 10 most watched videos in May were actually 10 of my most highest earning and highest views and this is the problem. When you have videos, a lot of times my, my most watched videos are still from 2007, 2008 some months. It, 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 there is, videos don't die on YouTube. There is not a, this isn't a hit record that it gets played for a few weeks by, by, you know, by, by the top 40 radio station and then gets discarded. You know, these things live on and on, which is the beauty of these old videos that you can make you know, over years. Um, you know, still be collecting you know, a, a good traffic view, a good audience, ways to promote yourself through these old videos. And the one video I should point out was my uh, Dwayne Wade. It was at the, the second or third day of the month. Uh, I, I, as a Miami Heat season ticket holder, I, got, I, was a, I won um, a pair of Dwayne Wade shoes. Uh, not his real shoes, but he has some new Nike Air shoes, which are really light, just 13 ounces. Not as light as Derrick Rose shoes, I know, but Wade did beat Derrick Rose. Okay, um, and they came out. They, they invited us, you know, about it was maybe about three, four hundred of us to the, get, who won the shoes uh, to come to, to actually hear the uh, presentation and be awarded the shoes. And this was the day before the shoes came out to the public. So before they hit retail stores, I had this pair of shoes, these one hundred and forty dollars shoes that I got for free, and that went to my oldest son. I'm not, I didn't even get to keep them. I, I got them in the size for him. Um, and I said, I have this perfect, and I just pulled over by the side of the parking lot before I left and just filmed a little unboxing video right there in front of the arena. So um, it got about four or 5,000 views, something like that. Um, but it was good interest in traffic because I was timely. I got a product that people were going to be interested in looking for on YouTube, and I managed to do it right before anybody else was actually unboxing or doing anything for the thing. So I was able to beat everybody to the punch, and I think that really helped with that. So that was my fourth and final lesson. And that's it. These are the four lessons on that I learned from this Mayday Moon Prize, which I will, if I do repeat, I hope to have better quality videos in between the, outside of these Tuesdays. One piece of housekeeping news, um, last week's video was on collaborations. So far I got one excellent video, I have another one that is on the way, and a third person actually promised to get me one soon. So 
I don't have enough videos for this. And I'm going to make the video either way. Um, but I may just have to wait a week or two until I get enough videos. So that's a real simple way for you to get promoted right now. Um, my original video, Five Ways to Make Money on YouTube, has more than 800,000 views. And I'm creating a sequel to that, which I will link to from that video, which is how to make, you know, five more ways uh, to make money on YouTube. So if you have a tip on making money on YouTube, a tip on how to get more subscribers, on tip how to gain more views, anything that you think that will help your, just the YouTube community aspect of it, record it. Just fire up your webcam and make a short clip, 15 seconds, 30 seconds. Don't go longer than 45 seconds or so. I, I want to put everybody into one nice short clip send it over and film it and you don't have to put it on your page if you don't want to you can uh, and then just tell send you know drop me a line to let me know or send it as a video response to this and I'll see that and then I'll gonna compile them and then I'm gonna take them and just put make a video with with your tips to pass on to people and on everybody's page every every video that I do use I'm gonna link to their YouTube channel so it's gonna be great promotion for you it's gonna be I think a very popular video for me so it'll be a great experience for all of us in this collaborative experience. So that's it for now. Um, I, hopefully I'll get that video up in the next week or two. So if you have, you're working on something, uh, get it done and get to me on that. And that's it. I'll see you next week. Thank you.